Do you like Freddy Fazbear? He's fine. He's fine. He's of the four? Freddy's the least fun of them. I'm gonna say no. What happens if I say no? Is he gonna attack me? Oh! Oh! <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm wearing my FNAF best because we're hopping into another FNAF fan game. But before we do, I want to talk about a different horror series, uh, Last of Us, which have you played Last of Us, Ash? I have watched my friend play it. Great. Well, in the modern day of gaming, that is about the equivalent of playing the game. So yeah. there you go. That's wonderful. Um, anyway, the reason I bring it up is because I've mentioned this before, but I uh, was away in Los Angeles last week. And uh, for and one of the reasons why was because I was at the Last of Us premiere. Uh, there's a new HBO Max streaming series about The Last of Us. Um, where they took the game and they made it into an, an actual movie storyline, you know, a uh, narrative arc. It is great. Uh, I know Last of Us is one of those franchises that people are very protective over. I mean, it's one of the greatest narratives in a video game ever. It's, it's an amazing story. If you've never played Last of Us, uh, well, Ash, you've watched it, so you know. But, like, if you've never played Last of Us, it's great. Uh, I missed it originally when it first came out. It came out on the PS3. I couldn't afford that. Uh, <laughs> I was in college at the time. So, nope, I passed all that era of gaming passed me by, and I've been slowly trying to catch up on those things that I've uh, missed. But uh, Last of Us is just, like, one of those classics that will live on in like the gaming annals of history right as like this is the pinnacle of storytelling in video game or one of them uh anyway they did a great job on the series i'm not sponsored to say that like i was legitimately impressed with how they did it was awesome uh the reason i bring it up though is because they also sent me i got this in the mail literally like a couple hours ago and they sent me a backpack to like thank me for attending which was cool like with all this the stuff in it like got this like car heart like look at this! Look at how this this Ooh. jacket is heavy duty, man. This is a, like this you can is, hear the quality, right? You can you can hear it. It's a Carhartt. I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with up in Ohio, growing up. I am very familiar with Carhartt stuff because Carhartt is like the go-to like heavy duty like industrial like it keeps you super warm. It's built to last. Uh, it is the snowsuit that I go sledding in because you're rolling around and you never get cold in it. You never get wet in it. It's amazing. So they like sent me this Carhartt. I mean, legitimate stuff. But this is cool. I was I was as Ash was rolling the intro credits. Um, I was I was wondering what this is, and apparently it's oh. a survival kit. Like, it's all, like, flat tools that you mix together into a... <laughs> as I drop them everywhere. <laughs> but, like, it's got a flathead screwdriver. It's got a bottle opener. I've never seen anything like this before. So it's every tool in this range contains a finely tuned magnetic connector. So this is, this is like, legitimately, like, a, 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 a cardboard book full of almost like a Swiss army knife and then you kind of assemble. It's cool. I've, I've never seen this. It's awesome. Um, but the real reason I'm on, I, I wanted to bring this down and quickly check it out is because when I was a kid, my dad had one of these sorts of flashlights, which you've never seen, um, are legitimately really cool. But one of my favorite things about them was the secret compartment in the bottom that had all the individual filters that you could put on the lights. So that way you could change it. I don't know. For me, this huh. is br this is bringing back so many childhood memories. I believe this is a tool for like the army, right? Like army or, or military in some way. Because my dad was in the army when I, uh, but like after he graduated from high school. And so then you can, you know, now it's filtered and it's it's less visible to people or whatever. I loved playing with my dad's thing, and um, so the fact that I have one of my own is really exciting to me. And the fact that it's real, because I, I saw this, and usually whenever, like, movie studios or you know, TV shows or whatever send you, like, a care package, it's usually pretty, like, fake stuff. Like, oh, you know, oh, it's a prop from the show or whatever. And it's made to look hardcore like a legitimate thing, but isn't. But as soon as I saw a Carhartt thing, I'm like, oh, is this real? And it is. And it's, it's cool. So this is awesome. Anyway, I want to share that story with y'all because... You know, I like you, and I thought it was a fun story about my childhood. So, anyway, uh, we're playing 
FNAF cleanup crew, which has been one that um, that had kind of like circulated around like middle of last year, early to mid mid last year. Uh, it's supposed the full version is supposed to come out this year. I have not seen anything about it. I've heard good things about it, and I also uh, part of the reason I heard good things about it was because they did a campaign where they had a secret website and they basically said, tell MatPat about this game. <laughs> At the bottom of the website, it was like, tell MatPat about this one. Um, and I'm like, that, I, that intrigued me. And I saw generally positive reviews about this one. So I'm like, you know what? We'll put it on the list. We'll get around to it eventually. And eventually is that day today. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, or talking about uh, Last of Us, FNAF Cleanup Crew Employee Assessment which is not the full game. I believe this is like a demo of it. Oh, good. Oh, good. I love when this happens. This isn't unsettling at all. <gasps> what? Show me that can again. Show me that can! It's a Coke Zero. Coke Zero? I know. You? It was what we had in the fridge. What? I understand that I... y'all were away, but... <laughs> Sometimes I haven't gotten a chance to restock, and so sometimes you just gotta reach for what's in it. Also, your body can only handle so much <laughs> of a single bag. Like, you know, six Diet Cokes a day is like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Sometimes you gotta mix up the flavor profile. You've gotten my attention through your campaign. Let's see what you do. Slowly build. Camigo. Camigo. Camigo Games presents. Wow. Like I'm watching The Last of Us again. <laughs> a playable teaser based on five miles. Wow, it's very epic. The drama. The drama. This is dramatic for a teaser. Developed live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash canomics. A Steven Spielberg production. A27 title card. Like 15 title cards. Everyone has executive produced this game. All right, here we go. Okay, WSD, look around mouse, inventory, E, crouch, interact. Wow, we did, we did, I mean, they're still doing the title credits roll here. Journal, go to the assessment room. Oh, and there's, and there's 30 bears, okay. Wow, this is, this, is, this is already, okay, you've got my attention, game. This is quite the epic intro. Open door, but don't open the filing cabinet. And don't open, okay. Open door quietly. That was not quiet. <gasps> Heave it open. Okay, I apparently cannot open this door, so. <laughs> Neither loudly nor quietly. There's no opening of said door. Close door quietly. <laughs> okay. Is that a camera? Speaker system? Oh, alarms, okay. Don't open that door. Okay, so we're one in a series of uh, test subjects, it seems like, because we have a bunch of cells around here. Okay. Let's see, I understand why this was an opening credits crawl now. Because you're going through all this stuff while you're, while that's happening. Hmm. All right. So yeah, they're setting up the fact that there's a lot of us. We're all gonna be part of the cleanup crew. This is the audition process to join the Freddy Fazbear's team. Ooh, hello. I found you. So there's 30 of you to collect. Well, that's one. That was fun. What do we got here? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. Is that shaking because, is that shaking because I glitched myself onto the vending machine? Or is that shaking because of this? Okay, good. I'm like, oh no, I've broken the game already. Darn it. And welcome to oh. the Hextor Robotics Employee Assessment. Before you can begin working with us, we must see if you will be a good fit for the role. Please step onto the scanner so we can verify your identity. Ooh, hello. It got very dark. Onto the scanner, okay. I want to look around a bit. New update in the journal. Verify your identity before the assessment begins. Uh, okay, 
mail. Get, uh, uh, get, uh, well, okay. Sure, I, I Thank you for we shoot. Are at your scan now. Okay, we have in. finished filing your scan data. We have also noted that you may need company provided therapy due to approximately 67.2% of your security fee. <laughs> You're right. It's a little bit higher than that, but we'll, we'll go with that. Let's proceed with the test. The rails in front of the projector will switch to alternate sets of buttons for various questions within the assessment. Okay. The questions will be presented to you on the projector. Feels go very to the excessive. You wish to answer with and press it to input your answer. Okay. Do you understand? If not, we highly suggest you find a career breaking rocks with your head. <laughs> that is likely all you are good for. <laughs> if you are ready to begin Don't the tell assessment, me what to please say, I am ready. I am ready. No audio feedback detected. <laughs> we will assume you had a stroke, lost your ability to speak, and then nodded your head affirmatively. Great. Let's begin the assessment. Old factory, old ballads. Secrets nearby. Fire safety regulations. Are you more of a dog or cat person? All right. Dog or cat? Dog, cat. I'm a cat person. They are so funny. <laughs> Flopping around. Skips in his really cute cuddly phrase. What brings you more comfort? Space, ocean. Ooh. Um, I like looking at space, but the concept of going up into space freaks me out. Uh, because space is very scary and coming back from space is very scary. Ocean, very calming. Being on a boat's nice. I can engage with the scary parts of the ocean if I want to or not. Ocean. I'm gonna go with. Space is more intellectually satisfying. Ocean is more calming. What do you value most? Okay, what do I value most? <laughs> Friends, family, money, recognition. Ooh. Friends, family, money, recognition. Um, that's a good one. I would say family. Family. Love, Which love my family. Okay. Clouds, spiders, death, betrayal. Clouds, spiders. Clowns, spiders, death. I mean death, like I used to be really scared of spiders, still am. Cut to clip of me un un unveiling a gummy spider in a past live stream. Like, spiders still freak me out, but the idea of death, like, death is the scariest, man. <laughs> like, betrayal, you can get over it. You're still living. You have time to, like, adjust. You are a good person. Yes, no. I like to think that I am. I strive to be. I'm gonna say yes. This is a very excessive uh, amount of... Do you think you are Stuff. an honest person? <laughs> Would you rather? Do you think you're an honest person? Yes, yes. definitely. No. 100%. Very much so. Um, to a fault, actually. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree or disagree? I would. Everyone? Yeah, I mean, it, here's the thing. It depends on what you're talking about a second chance for. But in general, I would say for like 99.99% .99 of cases, yeah, you agree. There are certain things that are really tough to come back from. Like, oh. I just murdered five kids and stuffed their bodies into animatronic suits. Like that, you're, you're not really coming back from that. You don't get a second chance. Even... Yes. Oh, I thought there might have been secret binary in the 101s, but there's not around the edges. Do you trust us? Yes or yes? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Cool. There are 30... Sorry, there are 30 bears that I need to collect. I'm getting stressed out about that. The fact that I'm still here. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. Oh. Uh, I'm a, definitely a vanilla guy. Ash, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. You know, gotta say vanilla. Yeah? Yeah. There's just so much you can add with it where it's not overwhelming. Ghosts, right? Both, neither. Ooh, what are real? Ghosts, aliens, both or neither? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. It's a tough one. There's gotta be, like, there's gotta be, like, alien life forms at some point out there in the universe, right? Ghosts? There's definitely some, some weird stuff that's happening out there. They're gonna say both. Let's do both. 
I feel like that's the spiciest option. Are you afraid of the dark? It used to be. Horrendously. I would play that game as a kid. Yes. No. Where you have to run down the hallway and flip on light switches to create like a pathway of light to go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Still a little bit. Yeah. Great. Thanks, game. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I should have said no to this one. Darn it. <laughs> Shoot. Ooh. Hello. Oh, I should have said no. Which of the following animatronics is the most fun? Huh. Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. Interesting. All right, so now we're peeking in. Weird. This this has a glitched attraction vibes to it. Uh, who's the most fun? No, not Freddy's boring. Uh, Bonnie. I'd, I'd say Foxy or Chica. Bonnie's like, eh. You know, Freddy and Bonnie are like, eh. Chica. A laugh and a half. She loves her pizza. She loves cooking. She shoves her beak into your forehead sometimes. That's cool. Foxy, meanwhile, he's a pirate. He runs fast. He's, he's, he's a troublemaker. I think Chica's my, my brand of fun. Sometimes she's in an anime. You know, it's hard to, hard to fight that. Animatronics is the most comforting. Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. Most comforting. Again, Definitely not, this time, definitely not Foxy, because he is literally a pirate with a hook for a hand. Go on, Chica. Chica's just a big old feather, you know, big old ball of feathers and cupcakes. The animatronics is the most trustworthy. <laughs> most trust, they are robots. Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. Uh, I'm gonna go... Chica again, because Chica, I mean, Chica's got all the good, Chica's got the good qualities. Freddy's like, eh, he's the, he's the star, so he's kind of neutral. Do you like Freddy Fazbear? He's fine. To me, I think yes. he's the least interesting in his own games. Yes or no? Hello? Hello? Okay. Still, still waiting for something to happen. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for the hammer to drop here. Okay. Do you like Freddy Fazbear? He's fine. He's fine. He's of the four? Freddy's the least fun of them. I'm going to say no. What happens if I say no? Is he going to attack me? Oh! Oh! He mad at me. Give the money, walk away. Oh! He's he's mad. He is mad. You have five dollars left in your wallet. A homeless man asks you for money. What do you do? I I have to walk away. Your brother murdered someone. I, do you report him? Oh, jeez. Your brother murdered report someone. Do I? Him. Help him. I would report him. I might. So if we're near a restaurant, I might be tempted to take the guy to like lunch or dinner, but just handing him money and walking away doesn't make sense. Okay, question 18 failed to load. Ha! Hey, Fred. Hey, Freddy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with option D. There you go. Hopefully that doesn't trick you into thinking I'm a sociopath. Assessment test. Ooh, hello. Oh man, it's all glitched now. It is a glitched attraction. Go figure. Excited to meet you. Oh, hey, Fred. Excited to meet you too, I guess. I'm assuming you're the one who's talking to me. Uh, we're gonna go excited, because I like the word excited. <laughs> we're all excited here. I'm just gonna hide in the corner. We apologize for the inconvenience. We recommend rebooting the questionnaire and reloading your data. <sighs> Man, I gotta you download all my answers. Retrieve your data. One moment. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Your user data has been successfully retrieved. However, due to our confidentiality policy, a security code must be entered. Okay. Please proceed into the nearby vent to retrieve the code. Ha! <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, cool. New update. Pick up flashlight. Retrieve security code from the vents. Okay. Go to the vents. All right. To reboot assessment. There you go. Oh, it's dark. Pick up flashlight. Equip the flashlight from my inventory. Okay. <laughs> the 
is a weird place to hide your security co code. Just saying. I know we want it to be secure. Don't get me wrong. I get it. But at the same time, like, this is a very inconvenient way. Isn't there, like, a shared Google Drive that we could put it on? Or, you know, like, maybe some sort of uh, encrypted document, maybe? Literally anything other than crawl through this elaborate series of vents. A general lockbox. Hey. Nice. Second bear. Oh, they're Eddie Bears. Eddie Bears. Huh. I don't think you're ready for this, Eddie. Uh, well, the arrow's pointing me this way. So I'm gonna ignore that. And go down this dead end. <laughs> Great. That's what I get for being difficult in games. Like, no, pay attention to me! Hmm. Yeah, don't forget that there's up as well in these vents. Okay, okay. There's a lot of this. Hello. Where are we going? This is a very elaborate way to get this code. Just saying. Seems a bit extreme here, guys. Just a wee... Talk, talk about uh, security against cyber attacks, right? No, no one's getting your password this way. Watch the password be like one, two, three, ABC. All right, what well, we got here? Cool. Input station. We can encrypt. Nothing there. That looks like something I can interact with. Maybe open the door. I cannot. All right. Well then. I'm gonna use my fizzy lifting drink and get sucked into the fan, Willy Wonka style. 4143. Great. Great. Okay. Mm. Listen to the music, stay focused. New, ob new objective. What's the secret? What is this secret thing? Oh, I can... Oh, I can close the vents. Whoops. Oh no! Oh no! I've locked myself out of the vents! <laughs> I thought it was a secret brick code! That is not all unheard of in this game. I've played FNAF 3. I know that the true ending is unlocked by typing things into a brick code. Oh shoot. I've locked myself out of the game. There we go. Oh, I hate this. Still, still hearing the music. Nope. Nope. Is this the right way? Yeah, yeah. Right, I, yeah. Hate. Hate. The tension is really high. That's quieter. Louder. That's pretty loud. Ooh, that's louder. Oh! Go! Oh, come on! I was just testing it! I was just testing it! I just wanted to- Yeah, watch the vents! Okay, great! I was just- I was just making sure that the, the music wasn't louder on that side! I just had to make sure that the music wasn't louder on that side! I was just testing the music! I just testing the music, man! Let's go back to the vents. Music, man? Me I was just testing the music, man! I just wanted to test the music, man! Oh, man. I was following the music! 
I thought for sure that the jump scare would happen if I chose the wrong door, not prior to me choosing the wrong door. Shoot! We were doing so well! Oh man, we can start back here? Oh no. Okay, there's... Oh man, I have to do all this again? Okay, here. That's a bummer. That's a big reset. That is unfortunate. It appears an error has occurred. We apologize for the inconvenience. We recommend Like you can start me at the, the end of like when the actual vent section starts. We will now attempt to retrieve your data. One moment. Alright. Your user data has been successfully retrieved. Oh, we we're doing so well, man. Due to our confidentiality policy, a security code must be entered. How would I have known? Proceed into the nearby 4143. I know it. It's 4143. 4143. Can I skip? I cannot. All right, let's go. Flashlight. You're missing out without the headphones, man. Am I? Yeah. Spoopy. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, is it, is it significantly different? Well, it's just like the the left and right, like the balancing of the audio yeah. is really solid. Um, also, it's just like, you know, audio makes a big difference in all the media that you consume. That's true. Um, well, I'm glad oh, that... It really does put you there. I'm, I'm Hate glad. that. Yeah, so were you hearing the music differences better? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, then you should tell me, so that way I don't get jumped. You are killing it. You are going the right way. Right? 8010. Okay. Beware the vents! 8010. They are near. Follow the music. Okay. We'll try to follow the music, but not too closely, because if you do. You might get jump scared, okay. That one's locked. This is loud. This is loud. There's no, no other option, okay. This feels louder. It's louder. Yeah. yeah. That's locked. Okay. So last time we went there and got jump scared. See, this feels quiet to me. It's coming in through both ears, and when you go that way, it's coming in only through the right. Okay, there, there you go. But See? I'm scared, what if I'm wrong? I, I believe in you, Ash. Okay. Okay, what are you hearing now? Uh, left. Okay. Left or right? Uh, left. Left? Okay. Good job, Ash. You're doing great. Left or right? Right. I like that this is just Ash's hearing assessment now. <laughs> Fear. Here you go. Oh god. It sounds like it's from the right. Yeah. I'm scared though. Okay. Yeah, I think it's right? Well... Like as I turn. How you doing? How can I help you in this oh, moment? Oh god. Um... This is an important one. I know. <laughs> this, this is where we keep dying. I know! <laughs> <laughs> You got it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's coming in more evenly that way, but I'm scared. From this way? Yeah. What if it's wrong? Ah! Okay. Okay. This is the three-way vent. Oh no, this is the two-way. Okay. Left feels quiet to me, but I'm trusting you in this um, one. Um, that feels quiet. But there's also nothing coming in through the right. Really? Nothing? So you think left? Uh, yeah. What you got? Forward. Really? Yes. Feel okay. Okay. 
Uh-oh. Hey! New room! <gasps> There's Freddy. 80-10. Yeah! Woo! Ash, you did it! All-star! Whoo! That was intense. Anxious, intelligent, creative. Confident, anxious, intelligent, creative. Hmm. Anxious, no. Confident. I feel like I'm fairly confident. Intelligent, I feel. Confident or intelligent, I would say. Hmm. I'm gonna say confident, actually. You will be a completely different person five years from now. Do you agree? Will you be a completely different person five years from now? No, I think, I think the core essence of who you are stays the same. A lot of things will change about you, but I think the core essence of who you are stays the same, so I'm going to disagree. Like, a lot of your moral Biggest codes fear. and stuff stay consistent. Biggest fear! Loneliness, failure. Ooh. I, I'm really... I don't like failure, but I'm not afraid of it. Like, I used to be really scared of failure, but over time I've learned that failure is just learning. So it doesn't bother me as much. It's, it's you know, you, you learn and you grow, right? So I'm going to say actually loneliness. The idea of being alone and not being able to, like, I'm lucky to have Steph. And I was, you could end someone else's life that's a hard one. Any repercussions. Would you do it? If you could end someone else's life without suffering any yes. risks. No. So this is, this is a classic one, right? Like, would you, would you kill, like, Hitler or whatever? Like, would, if you had Death Note, would you kill Hitler? If you could end someone else's life without suffering any repercussions. I feel like... I think with a lot of heavy... St mm, then it, but it falls back to me, right? Could I do it? Hmm. I can't believe this is like... That's the village attraction and the test. Right, it is. It's a lot of things mixed <laughs> together, right? It's, it's one... Yeah, it's one half the test, one half glitched attraction. What do you think, Ash? Would you do it? I'm curious. This is a hard one. If I felt that it would be for the greater good. Right? I would do it. Would you do it? I would. Because I'm, I'm the same way, right? Where it's like, if it's for the greater good, and if like for the mass of humanity, like, wow, here's Hitler doing a bunch of terrible stuff. Like, let's, let's off him from a distance, safely, remotely, or whatever. And I guess I would, without suffering any repercussions of my own, if there's no repercussions, and we can all kind of collectively say, like, hey, this, this guy's doing a lot of bad stuff for the people of the world. Yeah, I think I would, too. I think. That's a hard one. That's tough. Do you believe in fate? It's a tough question. Yes, no. We are a product of both, like, to some extent, right, a fate plays, there is some element of fate in general, right? Like, you know, I am very strong in the idea of, like, self-determination. Like, through hard work and determination and creativity and whatever, like, you can find your way to the right place and where you're meant to be in life. But, I just want to check if Fred, Freddy's still there. Um, but at the same time, there are some predetermined things in your life, like your genes and your nurture when you're a little kid, like, that you have no control over, and that sets you down certain courses. And so, in a way, that is kind of fate acting on you. Are you fated to do things? Like, was I always fated to be a YouTuber, though, and, like, do a... No. So it depends on how you define it. I'm going to say no. I think there's a lot of self-determination. What do you think you were you fated to do, if not YouTube? If not, what was I fated to do? Yeah. I mean, no. I, here's the thing. I was fated to do some equivalent of this. Like, to, I always wanted to teach. I always wanted to entertain. Fortunately, I've been able to find that here. So, like, it depends on what scale you're looking to define fate, right? Like, I was huh. always fated to be an educational entertainer, I think. Okay. So, that level, then yes. If you're defining fate as, like, Matt Pet is determined to be a YouTuber who does the show Game Theory, like... I think there it becomes different, right? So I, it, de it depends on what level of fate you're talking about. So you're basically like, you're taking a paradigm and you're just like, 
doing slight customizations. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, this is the custom route. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, but still within the paradigm. I think so. Yeah. You know, because even if you look at, you know, and and here's the thing, right? And and this is why I don't think fate can actually be it. Because at a certain point in my career, and, and when I didn't have a career, to be honest, like when I was leaving theater, I was looking for anything. Yeah. And that was everything from like waiter at Olive Garden to teacher to digital media expert to whatever, right? Like I, a whole spectrum, right? And so it's one of those things that whatever job I would have gotten first probably would have decided which route I go. So was I set up in this situation where I'm like, oh, education through entertaining, you know, like, yes, that's, that was probably where I was most oriented to go. But if instead of getting a job at big frame consulting large YouTube channels, if instead it was, I got like waiter at Olive Garden or teaching at Teach for America, or whatever, that would have sent me down a different course. So I think mm-hmm. like faded to do this. I'm not sure. We ourselves are a universe for the, the, uh, organisms that live inside of us. Right. Which is weird. You know, the idea that like there are millions and billions of small little communities inside of us that exist within the ecosystem of ourselves. That's weird. It Turtles is. all the way down. Turtles all the way down. All the way down. This is a FNAF fan game. Yeah. We, we just survived a vent section. <laughs> Well, which animatronic do you find to be the most trustworthy, Chica. Matt? Yeah, that's what I was going to go back to, too. And so why do you think Chica's the most trustworthy? Well, when we look at Matt's childhood and the way that he grew up, he was always destined. He was always fated to choose the chicken. Always fated for the chicken. I bet I would love to see the statistics, but I don't know if uh, if uh, cleanup crew is keeping track of all these stats. I would love to see the statistics around all of these questions. Because to me, I think Chica, far and away, is the one who's going to win that battle of most trustworthy, who do you like the most. Like, I feel like Chica is far and away, like, the one with the most personality, the most trustworthiness. Chica and Foxy, god tier. The other two, they're there. I kind of think that Freddy would be chosen as most trustworthy. Get out of here. Well, Freddy looks the most familiar. Familiar. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's fair. 100%. Yeah. So I, I would give them. Familiar... Um, we all had teddy bears as a kid. Hmm. Um, That's... The little hat makes him look kind of dapper. Yeah, dap. Ooh, okay. Um, welcoming. Welcoming. Yeah. Right? He, is, he is the face of the. That's interesting. Okay. Hey. Good job. No, Thanks. you're. And though, and those things would therefore domino into trustworthy. Right. I could see that. Okay. All right. I see you, Ash. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. You met my challenge. Thank you. You well done. That was cool. Um, okay, let's continue assessing our personality, I guess. Fre- well, Freddie's like, what are they doing? It's like, oh my gosh, they've just been standing there. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yeah, sure. Yes, I have. This is... Do you think more with your brain or your heart? Um... Brain. Heart. It's, it's a bit of both. I think as an adult, I logically think with my brain a lot. Oh man, he disappeared. He's like, I'll take your brain. Do I though? I, I. You are forced to sacrifice either your best friend or an eight-year-old child. Who do you save? Save friend, save child. Who do you save? Who do you save? Save friend. So that's a hard. It's a hard call. No, is it? Yeah. I have to sacrifice one or the other. Best friend. Year old child. I think I think I'll save the eight year old child, right? Yeah. 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 How do you feel right now? Yeah, I'm feeling good. This is this is fun. I'm intrigued. A little bit confused. Very comfortable. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh great. I'm I'm very comfortable, actually. I'm not in the vents. I'm answering personality assessments. I like personality assessments. This is great. Oh my gosh, this is still going. Is this, this doesn't change the gameplay at all, does it? Are you a creatively driven person? Yeah, I am, clearly. I like being creative. I was talking about over the weekend how my first ever video project. Okay, one second, I'll talk about it. Or everyone remembers who you are, but you forget yourself. Which do you choose? Okay, that's... What that's in the Spider-Man others. is this? <laughs> right? What is this? So real quick, uh, I was thinking about over the weekend how my first ever video project, which, again, dominoed, 
faded me into this current trajectory of life was a project where I sold uh, fake suntan lotion for like seventh in like sixth grade, seventh grade, um, dancing to walk like an Egyptian in like the local quarry in front of like a big sand dune. What? So I've been what? creatively driven since an early age. What? It's a weird story. Well, it's a story for another day. Everyone forgets who you are, but you know who you are. Or everyone remembers who you are, but you forget yourself. But you forget yourself. I would like to know myself and forget others. Because then I can, like, rehab those relationships, I think. It's like, this is the Spider-Man thing. This is Spider-Man No Way Home, where he's like, I still remember myself, but everyone's forgotten me. I'm okay. Oh, no, that's forget others. I want to forget be forgotten by others everyone yeah. forget yeah i want to be forgotten by others and it's like it's a fresh slate yeah know? it's a fresh slate which is kind of sad because you lose a lot of that like back history and, but you can also teach them some of that stuff if you want do you believe you're a good friend yes no it's a tough one um am i a good friend I, i'm a loyal friend but i but am i like actively going out no i'm not a really good friend oh. i'd like i'd like to be better Mangle is your favorite animatronic. Agree, disagree. I I disagree. I'm not a big Mangle's fine. I think Mangle is interesting. I like the design of Mangle. I I am kind of annoyed by the fact that Mangle is always just restricted to like every vent game ever. Like it's always Child is crying in the middle of a restaurant. What would you do? Like, I'd like to see Mangle in new situations. Kick. Oh my god! Not not kick the child, mind you. Just random kicking. Just random flailing of one's body at the sight of this this crying sad child. Um, this happened to us in Disneyland when we were visiting there with the team. Um, Steph and I would have uh, reported the like take the kid, help them, try to calm them down, and then report the incident. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, you remember that? I do. Yeah, yeah. I I had to go on with you guys, but Steph, we made sure Steph hang hang back and helped out the girl. Yes. That was a wild trip. Do you feel like you've lived the same day many times before? No, nope, each day is a new special flower. Although in the lore of this game, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a repeating pattern of events. Are there any toxic relationships? <laughs> what is this game? Yes. No. Uh, are there any toxic relationships in your life that need to be dealt with? Uh, no, I've, I've, I've dealt with a lot of the toxicity. I'm doing pretty good. I like everyone around me. We're all good. Yay! Surrounded by positivity. Or not hard enough. Uh, definitely too hard on myself. That's an easy one. Too hard, not enough. <laughs> Without hesitation. Way too hard on myself. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Oh, jeez. Mm. Cause makes you paranoid, because you don't know when it's coming, and so if it's like, you're going to die from a knife, <laughs> you're like, oh no, I can't touch a knife ever again, like, I can't go to a kitchen, what if a random knife goes flying, whereas date, you actually have some control over that, so I'd rather know the date, it's like, oh, I'm fine, I can do whatever, whenever, however, up until this day, jeez, what's the worst way to die, great, we're in 40 questions at this point, Frozen. Cooked. Cooked. <laughs> Getting very cooking companions in here. Buried alive. Eaten alive. So buried alive, you're slowly suffocating. That's scary and sad. Eaten alive, you're... So, but you're going to pass out. Here, there's going to be a moment of intense pain. There's going to be a lot of pain as you're eating and bleeding out. Here, your body is slowly freezing to death, and so you're losing feeling in your fingers and stuff, but eventually your body's going to be put to sleep, but it's going to be cold. Like, you're going to, the freezing's going to lead to burning. That's bad. Cooked, it's going to be hot, you're going to burn, it's going to be uncomfortable. I feel like it's got to be cooked or eaten alive. I feel like eaten alive is, like, the most horrific. Yeah. R right? Because you're eat. Okay. Oh, great. Here we go. Level three, alert. Level three, alert. All right. It appears there has been a level three alert. Somewhere in the facility. This area has been marked as currently unsafe on our security system. Oh man. Please complete your assessment before relocating. <laughs> Please complete the assessment. Okay, sure. 
cool. Alright, well, I will complete my assessment then. I don't recognize you. Okay. Are we really on question 48? No way. Four, 40. Oh. It's been a lot of questions. Still. Okay. I don't recognize you. Okay. Oh, hello. I don't recognize you. What? Who are you? What do you mean? Um. What do you mean? I'll say, what do you mean? I don't recognize you. What do you mean? You haven't been here before. Oh no! Mother. I don't know. Here, uh, I would have to. I would have to do my mom because she would be mad if <laughs> she would be mad if I chose her to live and she would feel guilty about it. Like, I would not want her living with the regret and the survivor's guilt. So I think that she would be mad about that. I have been honest, as honest as I can be. I, I did, you did force me to question the, the realities of fate and predestined. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hi. What was that? 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 Okay, 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 hi. Okay, oh, okay. What? Okay, I... Do I feel safe and content? I gotta do the last question, do I feel... Okay, this guy hit the button. Yes. No problem. You're welcome. Okay. Are we in an elevator? Okay. Wow. Well, that that took a turn. <laughs> Deep philosophical conversations too. Oh, now we're. What is this game? This is wild. This is going in all sorts of directions I didn't expect. Oh, not the unbreakable filing cabinet. Every time, and yet no files spilled. Organization for the win. Oh. Guess I better try to find a way out of here. Guess my name's Alex. <laughs> Did I add it to my journal? Find an exit. <laughs> Dear self, find an exit. Okay. Do I have to listen to the music? So we're in an elevator? What crashed down? Wee. Oh, back to the events. Oh, man. Oh, hey! Mr. Trustworthy himself! Freddy! It's a good model. It is a good model. It is a good model. Mr. Trustworthy himself, a Freddy Fazbar. It's the Fazbar! Hello. Okay. What do we got going on here? Oh, found another bear. Nice. Three of 30. Flying. This is not gonna open. I recognize that door design as the door design that does not open. Nor does this one, nor does this one, nor does this one. Great. Alright, nothing up there. I can put in my security code. It was 8010 for this iteration of the game. I remember, because I paid attention. Nope. Oh, home again. Is this not home again? Oh, hey. Hey, Chica! <laughs> Just bouncing along. See, all the trustworthy ones are hanging out. 
This is all part of like an elaborate Myers-Briggs personality test. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you didn't like Freddy, so we're gonna show you Freddy. Oh, you did like Chica, we're gonna show you Chica. All right, everyone, I need you in the comments to drop your Myers-Briggs. Um, which animatronic you find is most trustworthy, <laughs> and whether or not you believe in free will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, all the classics. Your classic questions. <laughs> I'm an INTP. I, I'm an, I'm an advocate, and also I like Freddy. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm no. Am I supposed to go back this way? Because it didn't seem like I was able to do anything. Oh wait, there's another bear. Did I miss this bear last time? It's just a new area? Am I slowly going crazy? Well, at least I found the, la the next bear. That makes me feel better about my life. They're like, you can't proceed without the bear! Hmm. Alright. Go back down. <laughs> ONE MORE TIME! See, now that you're not just having me press buttons as a personality assessment, it's all gone to heck. I don't know what's going on. There we go. This is my room. Nothing interesting over here. Okay, okay. Oh, I had to just get down into the... You have to crouch down to check that. I will say that's, again, you got my attention game? I will say that's a little bit of a weird mechanic, the fact that I can't check a vent from standing position, that I actually have to crouch down in order to check whether the vent is interactable. Okay. Got a bear! That's number five. I'm flying. Call me Gerard Khalil the Completionist. Shit. I think I need some power. Gosh. I think I'll have to turn on some power generators to get the door open. God, I hope that thing won't see me. Alright, left. Okay, I got a sprint. Oh, there's another bear. Yeah. Got myself a bear. Okay, hope that thing doesn't see me. Can I put away my flashlight? Okay. Yes. I guess that's the, okay, so that's the thing I need to open with power. This is a, okay, and this is the, this is the generator, all right. Okay. Don't want to find a way out of here without being seen. What, what thing? Like, who are we talking about here? You, you keep talking about this animatronic that I'm assuming I'm, I'm supposed to have seen? He keeps saying bad words. Right, he keeps, he keeps using the naughty language. But it seems unwarranted, because I'm not seeing any of the things. Alex, stop using the naughty words. Those are big, those are big boy words. I don't, think, I, don't think, I don't think that's okay, bud. You know, right. something tells me that given the situation that Alex has found himself in... Yeah. Um... He'd be using big boy words? You would be using some pretty big boy words. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tend not to use the big boy words. Unless I'm really angry. It, the big boy words aren't really a scared word for me. They're more of an angry word for me. Ooh. Okay. Do you, do you use the big boy words for... Oh, okay. hold up. Okay, I, I heard some. I hear it. Okay, let me hide. I hear it. I, I heard stomp I heard stompy stomps. I'm hearing stompy stomps. I'm assuming it's gonna walk past. I'm assuming, and apparently I'm wrong. Okay. okay well then. There's a little cupcakes. Right. <laughs> Pretty cute. It's like they're best friends. Okay. I keep hearing it. Seems like it's coming from that direction, so I'm just gonna go. Great. Okay. One. Okay, let's follow. Oh, hello. 
So are you like a security guard? What are you doing? Are you tattling on me, Tachika? Is that what's going on here? Or if I step on you, are you like a warning sign? Bear. Two. Where's the next one? I love that sound. It's really satisfying. It is really satisfying. I wish that every time you picked up a stuffed bear, it would make that sound. Right, all stuffed bears. Make you feel like you got something. This one doesn't connect it to anything. Three. Three. There's Chica. Oh, she going. Chica be, be stomping. Stomp. Four. Okay. I think Chica was going down the aisle that we kind of need to go. Shoot, which one is... Oh. Just gonna, just gonna mosey along this way. Oh, so it's like a, it's a toy chica. It is toy chica. But she has her beak. Okay. Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna follow along. Because I need one of these wires. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nope. Nope. Hard nope. This way? Hello, cupcake. Wow, this is a very long, long path. There we go, there's the last one. Activate generator! Activate right, that should be all of them, right? Did I not collect all? Oh, journal. Oh, there's seven? Aw, oh, man, why are there seven? Aw, oh, dirt. Get out of here! Since when are there seven items in a game? Seven! Whatever happened to the good old tried and true five? Well, was... sometimes the number seven can be, um, symbolic. It, yes. <laughs> Boom. Well done. Th thank you. You are so right, Ash. What, what are you doing putting symbolism in my Five Nights at Freddy's game? <laughs> Get, oh. Uh... The intertextuality of this game. Oh, hey, oh, whoa, there's, whoa, Freddy's be wonking too. Hmm. There'd be a lot of wires. So Chica's going this way. Where is the last, oh, darn it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, I was gonna hide behind here. I'm assuming he can't find me, right? Like, I, I, I did a good job hiding. I did a good job hiding. We're hiding right now. We're just we're just hiding here. This is cool. This is cool chase music. The soundtrack of this game is banging. This is good. I love this. It's like music box music on steroids. Okay. Oh, I, is he is he still hunting me? He's still on the chase. Right? Is he gonna calm down? Calm down there, bud. Shoot. Okay. He's going for it. I guess, I guess this is just now my, this is now just the music that we live with. Okay, we got this one. We're gonna have to go back. I thought there were only five wires coming out of the thing to begin with. Okay. Great. So the music is gone. Okay, so this is where we started. Ugh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's four, what? One, two, three, there's only four wires. Man. What are you doing adding in extra wires? Seven. 
On the seventh day, there was rest. And on the seventh day, there was the animatronics rested, and it was good. And verily, it was good. <laughs> and on the seventh generator, there was no wire. Why is every generator maze the most infuriating thing ever? Can we just talk about that for a second? Every single generator maze is always like, oh man, not another generator maze. <laughs> okay, I don't think we've been back here. I don't recognize this area. Because also this didn't have wires going to it. Oh, and here's a bear that we didn't get, so that seems to indicate we have not been back here. This tells me, aha. Great. Oh. Ooh, another bear. The bears are hit. Ooh. All generators activated should go to open that door now. Okay. Okay, great. Hand. I don't want to, like, signal anything. Wait. Do you have a progress bar in this game, Matt? Do I have a progress bar? Yeah. Like when you were tracking the little bears. Oh, no. You see the breakdown of where all the bears were? Um, I might be stuck. Ooh. Oh, I, no. I appear to be stuck. No! I found all the generators! No! Oh, no. No! All I did was wanted to sneak a peek around the corner for gameplay purposes! Me and FNAF fan games haven't been getting along too well recently. No, it, it seems not. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. No! You can get out of this. I believe in you. I can't. I, like, Do you see how I'm not moving in the slightest? Oh, no. Like, I, like my character is immobile now. Can you jump? No. <gasps> no jumping. Is there anything that I can... Okay, hold up. Maybe... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yay! Oh my gosh, getting out of the, the menu. Ooh. Okay, hey, we're done with that section. We're opening a new section. Is this the end? Bear. There we go. Got this guy. Is this... Cool. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm tra No! Trapped in the garage. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, hey! Oh, 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 Freddy! Oh, Freddy! Oh, Freddy! Oh, Freddy! Oh, buddy! Okay. Wow, he, he's fast. It's like 28 days later, Freddy. Go, go, go! Oh, man. This chase music, again, is a banger. What about all the bears that we're leaving behind? This is like doors. Oh, go! Go to the elevator! We got this! Let's go! Activate. Boom! Oh, hey, bear. <laughs> oh, bear! Is this it? Did we beat it? This is the teaser. So I'm assuming that we're maybe at the end? That felt like... Oh, I guess not. Level minus 43. And 40... I, I can read 42. numbers. It's 42, actually. <laughs> You're doing great. I think it's been a long day. Find a way out. Okay, I guess this goes into part two? Electric Boogaloo. I... This is a very long teaser. I thought that this was just going to be like a, a short little like experience. We ended up having some existential thought. This is... This is unusual. I, it's a weird one. I like where it's going. The gameplay is solid, right? Like, everything so far has been accessible. It hasn't been too difficult. It's been, like, the, the mechanics have worked. The, the weird question and answer section, I don't know why, what that really played into, why it was so long. I'm curious if that's going to play into the gameplay later. Um... But no, this, this is cool, and apparently it's still going. So tune in next time, friends, as we continue to clean up the last bits of Clean Up Crew and see if we're able to figure out what this whole game is. Um, one part, the test, 
or a Myers-Briggs personality test, one part a FNAF fan game a la Glitched Attraction. So will we be able to escape with our lives knowing a little bit more about ourselves and the journey that we took along the way? Find out next time, my friends. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!